Okay, this is nice. This is nice. Mm, I like this. I really love this filter. It complements the makeup so well. Hey guys, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome to the wonderful world of Marlene. Welcome, welcome. Happy Sunday, everybody. Hope you have, um, you're having a great Sunday. Hope you had a great weekend. I'm excited. I'm feeling myself. So I figured I'll come on and show you what I'm working with. Gabby! What's up, Gabby? Gabby, are you ready for the B palette? I'm sending you one, sis. Ciao. I need all my, um, Ashanti queens to start working like some queens, like some B queens. So this look is with the B palette, okay? So this is the look. I was going to do another look on Friday. I started look on Friday, but I didn't finish that because I went to the post office and I had a horrible experience at the post office. Someone almost killed me. Well, she almost hit me and then she would have killed a child. So by the time I got home, I was so flustered. I just couldn't do it. So today I sat down. I was like, let me do this look again. So this is the look that I'm going to be using to introduce the B palette to you guys and to show you guys the color story. The colors are bomb, y'all. The colors are so bomb. Because, I mean, like, honestly, yellow and chocolate, they go together. I don't care what anybody says, okay? Yellow and chocolate and black, they go together. They just go together so well. Um, and what I'm also going to be doing, I'm going to record the looks now. I'm not that good when it comes to recording looks for Instagram. You have to forgive me. Um, a lot of the ladies who do it, they're really good. I'm not that good. I'm not that good. Um, I'm better recording looks for YouTube. So that's my lane. I'm going to stay there. But on Instagram, though, I will just push, I'm just going to post like a video of the final look, not the actual makeup tutorial. So that's that. So on YouTube, you'll see that once the palette goes live, the palette will be live for either Thursday or Black Friday. So like Thursday, Thanksgiving Day or Black Friday. I'm excited. You should be excited as well. This is going to be beautiful. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> okay. And then we'll have like a lot of PR also going out. So you'll see me creating looks and then you'll see a lot of lovely ladies create lots of looks also. This palette is so beautiful. Two years to get to this level. I am so tired. But we're only getting started. The looks are going to be coming. I'm going to challenge myself to do about like more than 10 looks with this one. Have you seen my nails? Have you guys seen my nails? Have you seen the nails? Like I got my nails done just for this palette. Like my nails are so cute. This one has like little flowers. This one has a, the hive on it. This one has a drip. This is like some honey right there. And then you have like this little like... The flying pattern of the bee like the nails are so cute so once the palette goes live you're gonna have um a youtube playlist of makeup tutorials that i will be doing for now um so you'll be able to watch the tutorials on youtube from the website okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. missing anything else so yeah super excited about that so thank you so much. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this B palette. I have too. Um, it was a lot of work though. It was a lot of work. I had to, <laughs> I had to really put my best foot forward because the packaging is really pretty, but I didn't want to waste the packaging. So I really wanted to make sure that the color story was going to be stunning, that the color story was going to be giving, like it needed to give what it had to give. You know, I had to eat, leave no crumbs. You know what I'm saying? I had to understand the assignment. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I understood the assignment. Uh-huh. 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 So a lot of shades had to be customized for this palette. New shades had to be added in. The color story had to be very cohesive. It had to be, you know, a color that everybody can use. You know, I wanted a palette that everybody can use. Like nobody could be intimidated. I don't want anybody to feel intimidated. Um, with the peach martini, I know like some of the looks I did can be somewhat intimidating. So, and that can kind of scare people off. I don't want anybody to be scared. So whether you are a beginner, whether you're like intermediary, whether like you're super advanced, the B palette truly is for everyone. And it's going to be a palette that, especially if you have to go to work or if you have like Zoom meetings for work, it's going to be a palette that you can wear all the time. You can have like night looks in there. I have this one special shade because you know we're New Orleans, right? You know we're New Orleans. That's why we got the whole Louisiana theme. You know what I'm saying? This is about Louisiana, about the big Lou, the big easy. You know what I'm saying? So we're in New Orleans. So like here in New Orleans, our basketball, sorry, our football team called the Saints. Like, and people do not play. Like people here do not play when it comes to football. 
Um, shout out to Drew Brees and also shout out to um, Alvin Kamara. Yes, yeah, Sierra Leone in the house. So people don't play about football over here. So our team is called, they're called the Saints. And so I had this like special shade made just for the Saints. Like it's so pretty. And that's a color that you can try you can wear on its own super easy like a nice smoky look black look with like some specks of gold it's so pretty it's so pretty it's so stunning so i'm excited y'all i'm excited i am excited this palette means a lot to me if you haven't heard me tell a story for it this palette means a lot to me the lady on here that's my mom right there that's my mother right there that's also her that's my mom um this palette shout out to beyonce beyonce definitely was my inspiration but i don't want to be sued um <laughs> so like, how do you say beyonce without saying beyonce tell me how you would say beyonce without saying beyonce so the big b this big b right here in my head this big b is beyonce like i don't care what says that's beyonce in my head and i was like and then her mom's from here from louisiana my daddy alabama my mama louisiana okay you mix that negro with the what with the creole get a texas some 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 okay cool and so we live here. I live here. My son was born here. My husband's also part of my husband's half of his side is from here. You know, big Virgo energy. This palette was actually supposed to drop in September, but I had setbacks because I was stuck in a hurricane. You guys, it was a hurricane category four out here in New Orleans. I didn't have power for 12 days. I'm sure you guys remember. So I couldn't drop it, but this is definitely big Virgo energy. That's another reason why I put my mom on there. My mom is a big Virgo. September 12th is her birthday. Beyonce's birthday is September 4th. So I was like, okay, let me put my mom on there. So that's big Virgo. Also, if you don't know this, the bee, especially the honeybee, the honeybee is a spirit animal for Virgo. Okay, so like Virgo people are hardworking. They are neat freaks, super organized, perfectionist. They work really hard. Beyonce. Beyonce is a perfect Virgo. My mom is the same way. Shout out to who else is a Virgo? In the beauty community, I think um, makeup Shayla also is a Virgo. So you see like her looks are always so beautiful. Her wedding was so beautiful. Everything is so pretty, so neat. Like that's just how they are. Okay, so definitely big Virgo energy, um, you know. And also, also... The history is also really important. So like on here, you'll see my mom has a head wrap. So in New Orleans, this is Louisiana history. It's also called a Tignon. We'll talk about the Tignon law, which was a law that was passed by the Spanish governor to oppress black women in the state. But we'll talk about that. So it's full of history. It's full of culture. If you ever come to Louisiana, if you ever come to New Orleans, New Orleans is not the capital. Baton Rouge actually is the capital. It's right here. Baton Rouge is actually the capital. But, you know... New Orleans is like the fun capital of Louisiana, I guess, right? Because I guess the port was here, that's why. But um, New Orleans, such a, it's such a Louisiana period. But let's talk about New Orleans. Really. It's such an awesome city. It's full of culture, so much culture, African culture, all kinds of African, like all cultures of African ancestry. If you don't know this, I'm West African. I'm from the Ivory Coast. Moved to the U.S. in 96. I was like 11 years old, right? I speak French. So that's another thing I love about Louisiana. I love about New Orleans. A lot of people speak French here. A lot of people speak Creole from Haiti. I have a lot of Haitians also, which is super cool. Sac by say, sac by say to all my Haitians, sac by say to all my Haitians. Um, but so much culture, so much history, the food, the people, the music, the drinks, like everything about New Orleans is so rich. So, so rich. One of my favorite genres of music also is jazz. And you know, we're at the home of jazz, especially with Louis Armstrong, better known as Satchmo. Yes, yes, yes. So I love Satchmo. I love Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong and Ella Fitzgerald and Billie Holiday, of course. But oh my gosh, I listen to them every Sunday. I love them. And then you also have Princess Tiana from Disney. So the first black Disney princess is also from New Orleans. She loved gumbo. So it's such like New Orleans is an awesome place. It truly is an awesome place. I am so glad that Mardi Gras is coming back. I've missed Mardi Gras. I had to give a shout out to Mardi Gras also in here with the colors. Like you'll see like there are some cute, there are some beautiful, beautiful colors here. Shout out to uh, to Mardi Gras. Hey, Jillian. What's up, Jillian? What up, Jilly, Jilly, Jilly? You know, so it's it's a beautiful palette. It's not even just like selling eyeshadows. It's not even just selling a palette. I just want to celebrate. Celsi, I just wanted to celebrate black culture. I wanted to celebrate Creole culture, which is often not talked about in U.S. history. Um, celebrate the ancestors because, you know, most of them are West African. 
um, you know, just celebrate the city. When I first moved to New Orleans, I wasn't excited. I was, what the heck? Why am I here? But not, I love the city. You can't take me out of this city. <laughs> I love it so much. I love it so much. And it's such a pleasure. It truly, truly is such a pleasure to, to just to have been able to make this palette. I wanted to make a palette for Louisiana for the longest. Girl, when I tell you, when you see it on YouTube, you're going to love this look. This filter is giving though. This filter is giving. But I'm telling you, in high resolution, baby, it's going to be even more beautiful. Um, but yeah, when I first moved, I was like, what the heck? But now I love it. I love the city so much. I love the city so much. New Orleans has so much culture. The people here are freaking awesome. You know what I mean? People here are awesome. Their accent is awesome. The food is awesome. We're like, what is there not to love about New Orleans? And then years ago, I had I had stopped doing that. But years ago, I used to... um. I used to have influencers come to the city um, and we stopped doing that, but we're going to, I'm going to be doing that again. Okay. I'm going to do that again, especially with this palette. Now this palette gives me more of a reason to invite more influencers. So I'm looking forward to inviting more influencers to New Orleans to discover the palette, to get to know me, get to know them, but also to enjoy Mardi Gras. Okay. Mardi Gras this year is going to be March 1st. It's going to be March 1st. So I'm going to try to have lots of events for like influencers before March 1st so they can come and enjoy like New Orleans, enjoy Mardi Gras, enjoy the food, enjoy the drinks. Um, it's so awesome. Like it's like no other. Like Mardi Gras is like no other. If you're from here, the people kind of get tired of it. But if you're not from here, it definitely is. Mardi Gras definitely is a great experience. And we haven't had Mardi Gras in two years, which is crazy. So hopefully we'll have Mardi Gras. Hopefully we'll have Essence. Um, we also have Jazz Fest. We have Jazz Fest also which is freaking phenomenal. I think like one year they had like Diana Ross, they had the Rolling Stones, like Stevie Wonder, like it's like great, like huge names that come for for Jazz Fest. Like we also have a chicken festival. We have a gumbo festival. Like there's always a festival in um, going on New Orleans. Like there's always something happening, right? And like now, like slowly but surely, the city's picking back up. I'm like, oh, get my city back, get my city back. So it's definitely a great place. It's a beautiful place. Um... You know, it's just an awesome place. People here are really awesome. They have fun. They have another thing called the second line. Like, it's just freaking amazing. I will do my best to highlight the culture. We also have, like, Indians. They're the New Orleans. They're black Indians. Like, they're super cool. There's so much culture in New Orleans. Like, there's so much to do. There's so much to see. Um, there's so much good food. There's so many good people. Like, New Orleans is everything. Louisiana is everything. Um, there's no place like Louisiana all around America. No place like it. Like, especially when you come, if you come to New Orleans, if you come downtown to New Orleans, like some streets, you're, most of, most streets are French, like they're named after the French, um, like Bourbon Street, La Rue Bourbon, La Bourbon, um, Iberville. There are so many French streets here. So if you're French speaking, whether you're from France or any other country, Canada, there's a lot of Cajun culture. Um, Cajun culture also are the French people who used to live in Canada, but they got tired of being oppressed by the British, by the crown. So then they moved here. One a really famous um, Cajun person is Jean Lafitte. So Jean Lafitte was a pirate. I don't like him too much because I'm black. So there are other reasons there, but his name was Jean Lafitte. So you have a lot of like Cajun culture. Um, so whether you're from Canada, whether you're from France, whether you are from French speaking Africa, like myself, I'm from the Ivory Coast. Like, it's really dope. So, most of the streets are in French, but then you'll turn sometimes and then you'll have some streets that are in Spanish also because New Orleans burned down and it was rebuilt by the, um, by the Spanish. It's really cool. So much history. If you come here also, we have like voodoo tours, they have bayou tours, they also have um, Halloween tours. Good thing about Halloween tours also for people who love that show. What's the show with Lady Gaga? Uh, American Horror Story. American Horror Story was shot also in New Orleans. They even have like sightseeing tours to go see that house where they shot horror, American Horror Story. Um, like they're so like they're yeah, so they're like they're like ghost tours. They have ghost tours. They have Halloween tours. They have American Horror Story tours. They have Bayou tours. Like you guys, there's so much to do in the city. There's so much to do in the city. It's freaking awesome. So for the longest, for the longest, I wanted to do a palette to celebrate Louisiana. I want to do a palette to celebrate New Orleans. It just wasn't hitting. Like, it just looked a hot mess. And I'll probably show you guys. I'll probably show you guys my original design. I was like, Marlene, anybody finna buy this? 
<laughs> nobody was gonna buy it <laughs> nobody was gonna buy it but this one though this is it this is it right here this is really it so i'm super excited about that super excited um can't wait for you guys to place your orders you're gonna love it you're gonna love it like your the shipping box the tissue like the everything is super intentional it's super pretty it's super beautiful like you're just gonna be so happy you're gonna be so happy like look at me i'm so happy like you're gonna be way happier than i am right and hopefully you get your nails done to match the palette like i did but yeah that's that so i'm excited you guys i will try to do more looks um throughout the holidays from now until the holidays i'm challenging myself i'm not gonna tell you how many looks i plan to do just in case i don't get there but um yeah but thank you so much you guys it means a lot you know you work this hard and you pray and you hope and you cross your fingers and you like you know do a voodoo spell no voodoo spell right and you hope that people will love your product you know there's so many palettes out there there are so many amazing great brands out there you know but i'm a good contender i'm a great contender i'm a phenomenal contender and i truly think that the b palette is going to be something that you're truly you're gonna love it like you're really going to love it. I look at it every night. I look at it every night. I've been looking at it every night for the past two months. And I was like, Marlene, you can't fumble the bag. I was like, oh, really? Like, nah, you can't. I'm like, I can't or you can't. So I took this stuff so seriously. Every shade, every color, every matte, every shimmer. Um, there are other shades in there. I don't know how to describe those shades. Maybe, eh, what did I mean? Bisou. Um, there are other shades in there. I don't know how to describe them, to be honest. Maybe you can tell me how you would define those shades. I don't know. Um, but every shade was super intentional. Um, every shade was picked intentionally. It was picked with love. It was picked with care. Um, every color, every color was crafted with love. As you can see, like, oh, girl, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Um, so excited. Like this Black Friday to me is super, super special. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. So yes. And also this one is not going to be a pre-order. Okay. <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> this is not going to be a pre-order. This is going to be ready to go. The only thing is processing might take me a little bit of time, but it's going to be ready to go. We're not doing no pre-orders, none of that. Cause it's the holidays. I don't want no issues. I don't want no smoke. I don't want to fumble the bag. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I don't want to disappoint anybody. So it's going to be good to go. And also our shipping, the shipping for this palette will be priority. You'll have two options for shipping. You can either do regular shipping, for, which should be priority, or you can do priority with signature confirmation, okay, um, before you get the palette. You did. So yeah, with that being said, Joe. <laughs> No, I'm so you guys. I worked so hard for this. You know, my anxiety was so bad. I said, Jesus, Marlon, that's so gosh. Oh my gosh, a lot of people are waiting for this palette. Just I can't fail them. But I don't think I did. I don't think I did. I'm really proud of you guys. It's so cohesive. Like the color story is so cohesive. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. It's 19 shades. It's a banger for real. I don't know what to tell you. Not the banger. Ooh, 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 ooh. So yeah, I'm super excited. So yeah, with that being said, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm excited. I hope you place your order. I hope you love it. Um, because it's also because it's um Black Friday. Oh, thank you, Gabby. I appreciate you, my love. I really Gabby, you're so pretty. Your hair is so long. Girl, send me your hair. Mm-hmm. Put that in the mail. Bro. Let's do a trade. I send you the palette. You send me the hair. How about that? Because you know me. I love me some hair, girl. You're so gorgeous. You're so gorgeous. Um, You guys, please follow Gabby. She does a lot of great natural hair. Her hair is so beautiful. Whew, I have hair envy. Um, You'll see. I'm going to record the tutorial on that. I'm going to record the reveal on the other camera, not the iPhone. Um, What else was I going to say? I think that's it. I think that's it. So yeah, guys, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. So these nails are everything. Like, I want y'all to see my nails. I want y'all to see my nails. My little sister was freaking out like, Marlene, these are so beautiful. I'm like, I thought you saw the nails. Yes, you got so much hair. I love your hair, Gabby. I love your hair so much. So yeah, but yeah, guys, thank you so much. Thank you. I look forward to your orders. I really do. I look forward to servicing you and into like the influencer squad. I got y'all. I got y'all, y'all, all my influencers, all my people, my dream team, people who held me down, your palette are coming also, influencers on fleek, like, now everybody's gonna be so, y'all, we're gonna be so happy, we're gonna have a great Christmas, <laughs> we're gonna have a great Christmas, Ooh, 
this Christ and this Christmas will be very special Christmas for me. Okay, so dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Christmas is my favorite holiday, you guys. Christmas is my favorite holiday. Okay, Mariah Carey has nothing on me. Christmas is my favorite holiday. So I look forward to it. I, I, I look forward to you guys receiving your orders. I look forward to you guys being impressed. I look forward to you guys like um, loving the colors. I look forward to your looks. Um, she said, why? Why what? Truthfully speaking, babe, why Why what? I don't understand your question. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm so excited. I am. <laughs> so thank you so much okay i gotta go now gotta go record this um for youtube and instagram Ooh, it's a lot then i gotta start doing like tiktok you guys i can't tiktok tiktok is too much dancing i'm like i'm too old for this i'm too old for this so why do i love christmas so much i don't know i think it's so pretty and i think first of all i think it's super pretty i think christmas is super pretty um, I think the decorations are super pretty. I think like everywhere you go, the packaging, everything is so pretty. Everything is shimmering, glistening, crispy. Um, I, and I think people tend to be in a nicer mood during Christmas. Maybe I'm, I don't know, but I don't know if you guys noticed that. I just feel like when Christmas comes around, people are a lot nicer to each other. People are kinder to each other. Um, I love Christmas movies. I'm a sucker for Christmas movies. Oh my gosh. I love Christmas movies. Um, I love Christmas food. I love eggnog with a little bit of <clears throat> sizzle. <clears throat> yes, girl. Um, I love like getting gifts for other people. I love opening gifts. I love that trip with your family. I love matching sweaters at Christmas. I don't know. It's so cheesy. Like I don't, I just love Christmas. I, I've always loved Christmas. I think it's so cute. Yeah. People are so much nicer, babe. Like people are so nice at Christmas. It's kind of weird. People are so nice. And then once Christmas is out, people go back to being mean. It's like, but dang, yesterday you were so nice to me. But people are a bit more generous during Christmas time. People are more about like helping their neighbors at Christmas time. People check on each other during Christmas. Um, people, are, people are a lot more loving at Christmas time. You know what I mean? And, then, and most of the time, like people come together as family and like the stockings you know, sharing, and that's why, like, oh, I don't want to cry, I'm such a, like, oh, gosh, I'm so, oh, gosh, I'm such a, but, like, you know, and that's why, like, it's even for me to be able to have um, the palette ready for people for, like, the holiday season, like, it really means a lot, too, because, I don't know, I just feel like it's been a lot, I think 2020 was a lot. I think 2021 was a lot, you know, especially for like for black people. It really was a lot. It was emotionally, it was a lot. It truly really was a lot. And so let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, right? And so I feel like with this palette though, it truly is something that like really celebrates black women, um, celebrates the courage of black women, celebrates culture of black people, you know, Creole culture, especially, you know, it's just something that feels good. It feels good. You know, even the names, like the names are in Creole, but I will give you guys a translation of the eyeshadow names. Like they're super cute. Um, they're super encouraging. You know, it's just everything. It's just life. So, oh, my mic's still on. I don't know. So I just feel like it's so cute. It's so cute. Because I was doing this. I was doing this during like the whole Black Lives Matter thing. You know, I was like, I got to do a palette. I have to create a palette that means something to black women you know? And so, and then another thing I was telling my people that on my YouTube page, um, cause I'm more on YouTube than on Instagram, but you see like the bees, like the bees are beautiful too, but growing up in the ninth grade was it ninth? Yeah, it was ninth grade, ninth grade in my AB, it's an honors. It was like an honors English class. We read a story. So there was an African-American author. Her name is Virginia Hamilton. Okay. Virginia Hamilton, Virginia, like the state. And in Hamilton, like, I guess the play. And so she has a collection of stories, right? They're called folklore stories that pertain to African-American stories, like African-American history. And one of the stories is called The People Could Fly. Okay, it's called The People Could Fly. Her name is Virginia Hamilton. And then the story is called The People Could Fly. So in that story, she talks about... These beautiful, strong, magical Africans who had wings when they were back in Africa and they could fly. They used to fly. They used to fly all the time. 
right? Because they were magical. And so when they get captured for slavery and they get enslaved, in the process of all that captivity, having to cross the ocean in captivity, being sold into captivity, somehow they lose their wings. I don't remember if the wings were clipped off or if they just lost their wings or whatever, but then they go through a lot and then they forget how to fly. They forget their magic. They absolutely forget their magic. And so because they no longer remember their magic, they are subjugated to this oppression. But something happens. I don't remember what happened, but something happens and they regain their knowledge. They regain their wings, right? The, the wings come back. They remember how to fly. The wings come back. And so they fly out. They fly out of slavery because their wings are back, right? And so when you think about it, when you think about it, like it's a great metaphor for sometimes how I think that. Black people, I just think we're magical people. I think we're just freaking awesome people. I think we have lots of gifts, lots of talents, right? But sometimes the conditions of life, the vicissitudes of life, right, do cause us to forget so much sadness, so much oppression, so so much confusion, so much chaos, right? And so we have to be reminded that we know how to fly. We have to be reminded that there is magic within us. And we should never let the things that happen, things that we can't control and things that we cannot control, Take away our magic or kill our magic or silence our magic because we have the ability to fly. So Louisiana also was a huge state for slavery, right? So when you see these bees are like coming in and just taking over the state of Louisiana, right? Like you see this, like the bees are coming in. They're coming into the state or taking over the state. To me also, it's very symbolical to me in my mind, in my head as a creator of this concept for ancestors coming back. Because I believe in ancestors. I believe they don't die. I mean, they're dead, but I believe they live on forever. I believe they guide us. I believe that they give us advice. I believe they protect us. I believe in ancestors. I really do. And so for me, it's like they're coming and they're taking over the state of Louisiana. You know, reminding the people, the children, their great, 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 great grandchildren that, listen, you can fly too. So here we are to take you. So this kind of means a lot to me. And um, it's very... It means a lot to me. It's way more than the eyeshadow palette, you know, and I have more coming. I have more coming because my work is really going to be about like telling the stories of black people, whether it be black people from Africa, whether it be um, African-American history, whether it be Afro-Caribbean history, whether it be West um, Afro-West Indian history. Um, I'm going to use my palettes to tell stories because a lot of black history from the diaspora is not taught. Right. We don't learn that stuff. Right. Um, and I love black history. I love reading about black history. I love talking about black history. I love sharing black history because you need to know where you're from and you need to know who you are and you need to know who your ancestors were. And that gives you strength. It gives you strength. It gives you motivation. It helps you to have clarity for the future. It helps you to have courage. Like, you know what? If my people went through so much and I come from that, I can do way much more. Right. Because they stand by me and they stand with me. So it means a lot. Mm -hmm. It really does. So I look forward to a whole lot of people having this, you know, because that's my little thing right there. So that's that. But yeah. But thank you guys for tuning in, though. Thank you. I can't wait to show you guys this look. You'll see it in better quality, better resolution. All right. And enjoy your Sunday. And I can't wait. We're going to have fun with this one. We're going to have great, a great holiday. We're going to have fun. Okay. I can't wait. I can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. All right. So I love you guys. Thank you so much. It's your girl, Marlene. I'm out. But I'm not completely gun though. I'll be back with something hot. Okay. Peace out and enjoy your night. Bye. If you need something, send me a DM. I'll check all the DMs for you soon. I'll probably check them tonight or something. Okay. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>